Have you ever wondered how to collect quantitative data? There are several ways to do it. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the most common methods, as well as how JotForm's tools can help you along the way. Hi, I'm Jacqueline from JotForm. Let's begin. Data collection and analysis enable you to make more thoughtful decisions in many areas of your business, such as improving your company's services, identifying potential new products, understanding buyer motivations, increasing customer satisfaction, planning a marketing campaign, and managing many other business initiatives. The two main methods of data collection are quantitative and qualitative. Today's video will look specifically at quantitative methods. So what's the difference between the two? Qualitative data focuses on information and context, and it seeks to provide insight into people's perceptions, behaviors, and motivations. Open-ended surveys and interview questions are some common ways to gain qualitative data. On the other hand, quantitative data is numerical data that can be measured and is often collected through multiple choice or close-ended questions in surveys, polls, and questionnaires. Now that we know the difference, Let's look at some methods of quantitative data collection. The most common method of collecting quantitative data is through surveys. Quantitative surveys contain multiple choice and close-ended yes or no questions, which differs from the open-ended nature of qualitative surveys. A quantitative survey can even collect demographic data like age, gender, or occupation. Another form of the quantitative survey is one that asks participants to rate on a scale, such as indicating whether they strongly agree, agree, disagree, or strongly disagree with a statement. Most surveys often take place online, but can also be sent through the mail. Another way to collect quantitative data is through interviews. Quantitative interviews are more structured than qualitative ones, as they focus on a standardized set of closed-ended questions without allowing any room for added context. These interviews can occur face-to-face -face or over the phone and online. The quantitative interview is much like the quantitative survey, only the answers are provided verbally. Observation is a simple way to collect quantitative data as it involves observing or counting the data in question such as attendees at a party. This is a good way for collecting numerical data that looks at the what, not the why. Collecting data is sometimes referred to as structured observation, where researchers spend time observing, ultimately to narrow their study down to focus on certain behaviors. The next method, document review, occurs when researchers analyze data from pre-existing primary documents, like public records or personal documents. These are often used as supplementary to other quantitative data collection methods. Secondary data collection is when researchers gather and review data from government publications, books, websites, journals, and even previously published case studies. This comes in handy when a researcher wants to gain additional insights to support their primary data. To achieve in-depth and actionable insights into the types of improvements that will have the biggest impact, try an integrated approach that utilizes both quantitative and qualitative data collection methodologies. Qualitative data provides you with the why of customer behavior, helping you to see how people think, feel, and experience, and quantitative data tests or confirms a theory by seeking objective, conclusive answers. Quantitative data research methods help you to find the answers to your closed-ended questions. You can ask questions like, compared to our competitors, are our prices higher, lower, or about the same? And how likely are you to buy our products? And provide a scaled selection of answers for your customers to choose from, such as extremely likely, somewhat likely, not likely, or not at all likely. Confirm a hypothesis or theory. Measure trends and make important organizational or business decisions. Collect high quality data like facts and statistics that you can analyze and convert into charts and graphs. And gain more information from more respondents in less time than with qualitative methods. Quantitative data collection through a survey is much easier to conduct and will likely result in a larger respondent pool. As we mentioned before, surveys are a common quantitative data collection method and the easiest to start out with. Using JotForm, quantitative data collection becomes a breeze. 
JotForm offers more than 1,000 survey templates to help you to understand customer demographics or conduct market research. You can either use a survey template or create your own through the JotForm form builder, a tool that enables you to design, format, and customize your survey. Also, if a questionnaire is more up your alley, JotForm has more than 500 questionnaire templates to choose from. As with the surveys, you can use JotForm's functionality to customize your questionnaire, craft your questions, add rating scales and tables, as well as customize your fonts and colors. And that's it for this video. Before I head out, let's take one last look at the quantitative data collection methods we covered today. Quantitative data collection, unlike qualitative data, measures numerical data. Some methods of collecting quantitative data are surveys, interviews, observation, as well as document review and secondary data collection. Ultimately, using both quantitative and qualitative data collection yields the best results. JotForm's customizable tools like survey and questionnaire builders make the data collection process easy and fun. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jacqueline from JotForm and see you later.